one of the deepest mines in the world, deepest base metal mine. Um, the conditions here are definitely a lot more challenging and unforgiving compared to some other operations. It's really being able to put a drone like the Elios everywhere really helps us sort of de-risk some of our scanning approaches and, and allows us to capture the data that we need. Uh, supervisor and department name tasks, so we're doing a drone flight. It's actually a pretty small raise. I think it's only a 30 or a 28. It's fantastic for us to be able to get into places that other drones just can't sneak into. Just having that ability to sort of monitor locations over time really allows us to sort of like assess the live condition of the mine rather than always playing catch up and waiting for things to fall down before we should go fix them. Yeah, it's just versatile, you know. Rarely do we go a place with this thing and say, ah, the drone's not gonna fit or ah, something's in the way. Uh, you can usually make it work and you're not wasting your time down here. I'm using it for stove inspections, cross cuts that we can't potentially get access into or even just the convenience of being able to fly you know, an entire O on south and cross cuts as well. You can cover so much more ground when you're flying it with a drone than you can on foot. Really great coverage on the walls. I see it being a true replacement for human eyes underground. You know, we pay a lot of people to just simply go down and inspect places, you know, maybe bring a disto. But with the Elios 3, it's really an everyday tool that could, you know, capture the data you have and keep it in sort of an archive debt form rather than, you know, I went down yesterday, here's what I saw with my eyes, trying to communicate that sort of through word of mouth. The aim of the game is to get the highest quality data you can um, within the time frame that you've got. Yeah, it's nice having both views live at the same time. You can switch back and forth. And it's nice that you can broadcast it to someone else too, so they can kind of be looking at the point cloud and you can be looking at the video and just communicating back and forth. I, I find it just, you know, it just gives you that little bit of extra confidence when you're in sort of a sketchy corner or kind of in a blind area. The joy of this drone is that you can get not only your LiDAR scan where we can you know, take that data away and process it into our meshes for our design guys, but also the video as well. Um, and, you know, the ability for us to have both of those two pieces of data collected in the same flight time is invaluable. The next step is taking that data and getting as much use and sort of richness out of it as we can. And once you've collected your data and you're happy that you know, you've got all the flights that you intended to on a day, we head up to surface and then take all of that data onto our PCs and that's when the kind of, for me, the fun part of the processing starts.